In this exercise, I've basically mentioned everything in here. It's just making sure that it really enforces it. But some obvious things is that whatever token, or sorry, whatever production is usually at the very top, we start off with. I may have mentioned that before, but just making sure. But what we're trying to do is, is basically with the exercises here is making sure that you understand that, hey, we are going to be given some type of sentence, and now we're going to try it out with the grammar to see if it's done correctly or not. Now, there is one thing we have to be careful about. There's a lot of things that you and I assume sometimes. Grammars don't assume anything. So if there's something missing either here or in the grammar, then it doesn't work. And that's okay. You know, we fix it and go from there. So I don't want you to assume anything that, oh, we meant to do this. Nah, there's no typos in this. So if it doesn't match perfectly, then there's a problem with either the grammar or with the sentence. So go ahead and do all the exercises that we see right here. And it's using that grammar that you see right here in the big block here. And go from there and we'll go over answers here in a moment. So we're going to do this in parts here. So number one, which syntax below would not work with the grammar above? The one that did not work was B. And the only reason why is because it works fine with the A equals A plus B. But the bad part is getting to another plus. So you'll notice here that we have the plus here. We have var plus var. But both of those vars go to a terminal symbol. There's not a recursive function on on getting to another expression on this. That's really what we need is another expression. And it's frankly just not there. The rest of them offer either a variable plus a variable, a variable minus a variable, or just the variable itself. And that's the rest of them, of A and B, that would work out. But sadly, or I shouldn't say A and B, A and C, B is the one that does not work out. Number two, why would the following syntax not be correct with the grammar given? And then again, the hint is, no, it's not because it's on two lines and don't assume anything. The don't assume anything is really meant for you and me. The reason is, is that actually that second semicolon, it's the very end of it. You and I are so used to using semicolons to end things here and there and stuff like that with C++, Java, whatever. That just, we can't do that. It's just not in the grammar. Now, is semicolon the error? Yes, it is. But it has to be basically between two statements so the semicolon that you see after C minus B, that's okay. But I can't put another semicolon at the end of our overall grammar set or sentence set that we have using the grammar that we have above here. So that was the issue with that one. So let's see here. Number three, was there any recursion in the grammar given? There really was, and there was just one, and that's in statement list. Or statement list called statement or... It could call statement and then our statement list again. So there's our recursion that we could have had in this exercise. Number four is what other operators are not supported in this grammar and why? Well, notice we didn't have parentheses, we didn't have multiplication, we didn't have division. And the reason is for, frankly, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PENDAS, whatever the hell it is, but that requires order of operations. And right now, this grammar is definitely not ready for that. Order of operations, I'll go into more detail, but that means that in the tree, in our parse tree that we'll get to eventually here, we got to make sure that some things are most definitely done and solved first. Think about it. And, and please excuse my dear answer. Multiplication has to happen first before uh, addition. We, can, we don't have that really set up, but we will here in a little bit. 